Ever wonder about the stories behind everyday objects? Hmm, I'd say most definitely, yeah. Well, get this, that beaded ring you were curious about. Turns out it has roots going back, like way back to ancient Egypt. Wow, seriously, ancient Egypt. You bet. Yeah. And we're not just talking about a vague connection here. This is about techniques, actual techniques passed down over centuries. Uh -huh. Think the up and down stitch the ancient Egyptians used. You might know it as the peyote stitch. And it makes you realize how something so old can still be so relevant today. It really does. To think they were using those long tubular beads back then, just like the ones in your ring. It's incredible, right? It's like a direct line from their workshops to your finger. But okay, when we talk ancient Egyptian beading, we gotta talk King Tut. Oh, absolutely. Talk about iconic. His burial mask is like the ultimate example. It's breathtaking. Imagine those deep blue lapis lazuli beads and then the gold. That desert gold, right? It wasn't just about, you know, looking amazing. These materials, they were symbolic, very deliberately chosen. Right, right, I can see that. Gold, you've got the sun, eternal brilliance, lapis lazuli, that deep blue, it's the night sky. Your ring might be modern, but it too holds a story. Exactly, it's personal to you, and that's the beauty of it. Just like those ancient artisans chose elements with care, so do we. It's inspiring when you think about it. It makes you wonder what you choose to represent yourself, your own story, in a piece of jewelry. Yeah. It really does. Maybe take a page from the Egyptians, blend those ancient techniques with a modern twist. The possibilities are pretty much endless, really.